Hi everyone, this is Cassandra, Soldier for Christ Rolls. I am on the way to pick up my bus and God put it on my heart to do this video. I want to talk to the ladies today and ladies, I want to let you know that if you didn't know it already that this is a game. It's a game out here. And the game is being played by men, women, and husbands and wives. All the above. It's a game, ladies. And what we don't know about the game, ladies, is that when you come in contact with a man and he's talking to you, you know right off the rip something about this man because of his conversation. Now, if this man says that he's married, he don't even have to tell you he's married. But if that man tells you he's married, that's the fruit of the tree that you cannot indulge in. That's a big no-no. You can indulge in it, but it's going to be consequences and repercussions. You don't believe it, but you can open up your word and read it. It's right there. I hear a lot of women say that men are dogs. Men are not dogs. God did not make dogs. What we don't understand as women, if you open, open up your Bible to Genesis... The first book of the Holy Bible, God made man. So that means that God, he made man and he made man's body with the penis and the scrotum, the ejaculation, that feeling that the man gets when he's engaged. So God put it there. And I say God put the tick there. He put it there. So you can't say that God made dogs. No, God didn't make dogs. It is impossible for a man to stay faithful to one woman. You don't have to believe it. You don't even have to believe what I'm saying. Because for number one... The man is in the flesh. He's in the flesh. God put that tick there. He put it there. The Bible says in Genesis that God made man to be fruitful and multiply. So that's why God put it there. But the word also says that you have to exercise self-control. Self-control. That's what God says. It's in his word. So if you're asking yourself, well, why did this man do this? And why did he do that? Because he's in the flesh. That's why. If you allow a man, marry or not, to lay down with you, you are allowing him to lay down with you. It's all about respect and honor. The clincher is what we don't understand as women is that the man already knows what type of woman you are if you allow yourself to lay down with him and you have a husband. The same thing with the husband. If that man knows that that woman will lay with him and, and she has a husband, what do you think the man is going to do? He's going to lay with her. The clincher is that the man already knows that you don't respect yourself. You don't honor yourself. You don't even know who you are. But it's disguised as respect and honor. And it's not. In order for you to know these things, you have to be in your word. You have to be in your Bible. Not asking around other, asking other people about what's going on. No, you need to read your Bible. 
Everything that you need to know is in the word of God. Starting from Genesis. All of this that I'm saying is in the word of God. It's nothing that Cassandra said. 